Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of the Earth. Specifically, the power of the Earth's heat. What is that you say? The Earth isn't hot. You can walk on it in bare feet and it feels fine. You don't have to go when you walk around. Well, that is true. But the Earth is actually quite warm and the center of the Earth is scorching hot. There are lots of hot places all over the Earth and the middle of our planet, it's like the inside of a huge volcano. It's filled with flowing molten rocks. They're called magma. Now humans can use the power of the Earth's heat to make something called geothermal energy. The core of our planet is always going to be hot and so we'll never run out of geothermal energy, making it another type of renewable energy like the wind that we've already seen. Heat from the sun can also warm the air. Remember how we talked about where wind came from? It was from hot air rising and cold air moving underneath. Well, I've got a way to prove that. So let's do a little experiment to see how heat moves and then maybe we can use its power for truth, justice, and possibly baking cookies. Mm, I love cookies. For this experiment, you will need kitchen foil, 20 centimeters of string, a pencil, scissors, ruler, and something that can make heat, like a mug with some hot water or a candle. Make sure that you have a grown-up for this hot bit. So we're going to start by using a pencil to draw a big spiral on the kitchen foil. Okay, and then you're going to cut that shape out. Now don't forget to leave a circle in the middle because we're going to need to tie the center. So there's my spiral. Now with your pencil, make a hole in the center here and then thread your string through that hole, tying a knot at one end and then threading it up through the hole, like so. So that should dangle really nicely like this. Now we're going to want to hang this off something, so I'm going to tie mine to the end of a ruler. Okay, so next you're going to ask your grown-up to bring in their heat source. I have a candle here. I'm going to use a little bit of blue tech here just to hold my candle in place. And now get your grown-up to light the candle. Now the other option is you can just use boiling water in a cup. We'll come back to that in a second. So my candle is lit. We're going to see what happens when we put our new foil structure on top of it. So first of all, when I hold it, it doesn't really move. Now I'm going to put it over here. You should be able to see it's spinning. Can you see that the spiral is moving all by itself? Well, this is because the heat is warming the air underneath the spiral and that creates what we call a convection current. So this heated air rises in a column and it pushes up on the spiral and as it's pushing it up, it actually causes the spiral to move and that's what makes it spin. Now, as this warm air gets higher and higher, it starts to cool back down and then it sinks back down. And when it gets close to the candle again, it heats back up and if the heat source is still on, which it is, it'll rise again and it will keep spinning. Okay, so if heat rises, I wonder if we can use its power to rise above the earth so we can look down and keep an eye out for the baddies. And then we can hover all the way home and then we can bake cookies. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, also fight crime. That's why we're doing it. Okay, fighting crime and baking cookies because fighting crime makes me hungry. I'm hungry now. Anyway, back to the crime. Time for the moment of truth. Okay, to test this, we're gonna need Nano Nano Girl. Hold on, there she is. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take some hot water. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hover you over the top and then maybe you're gonna hover up and then you can see the baddies. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, rise! Uh, right, well, that didn't work, but um, let me think about this. I guess it would take a tremendous amount of heat energy to actually make a person rise off the ground. Um, 
probably more than we've got anyway. Um, are you okay, Nana Nana girl? Oh, what? You're having a lovely bath? You, you want your rubber ducky? Oh, okay. Well, I'll go find a rubber ducky. I hope you've enjoyed making your convection spiral. And either you've used a candle or your mug. And I will see you tomorrow for more superhero science. Now, where is the nano nano ducky? It must be really tiny. So maybe it makes a teeny crack. Quack, quack, quack. Ducky! <laughs>